Tuesday morning, everybody. It is the 7th of January. Uh, hopefully you had a great Monday. Back to the work week, back to the school year, and all that wonderful stuff. So our gospel day is from Mark chapter, oh, I forget, chapter 6, verses 34 through 44. I love this scene. I like all the gospels. Okay, really. Um, I've been sitting here. I know what I want to say, but I'm afraid it's going to come out insulting to people. So I have to be very careful here. So you might see some pauses in this video. Um, so I, let's see what gets to me. So it says Jesus is moved with compassion. He sees people in need and he wants to take care of the people and he wants to feed them because they've been tired and they've been listening to all day. So he asks his apostles to do something and they come up with an excuse. We can't do it there. We don't have enough. And Jesus, he must have just rolled his eyes uh, and said, you know, talked maybe to himself or whatever. And, and then he feeds them. And what I, what gets me is, see, I, I, what I think, what I hear is that the apostles, the disciples, they were limiting themselves. Uh, they, a lack of vision, a lack of wisdom, a lack of, of, seeing possibilities and probabilities. And I think when we are immersed in the Spirit, when we are open really to God, these excuses that we can make fall away and we, and we, we see potential and we, we want to see ways to help. Too often, what I've encountered, this is kind of preachy, but what I'm starting to encounter, and I encounter quite a bit, is, you know, I say, hey, let's do this. Oh, we can't do that because we don't have this. We don't have that. We've never done it that way, Father. You know, people get into their, I guess, their ruts or where they feel safe and anything new. And and I, I don't mean to be insulting about people. I mean, I, I know I've experienced that too in my own life. It's like, okay, you know, like, oh, no, I can't try anything new. You know, no, I don't have the resources. But, um, you know, as God has moved with me over these past 30-some years, uh, 24 years since I've been somebody, whatever that is, is that I've been shown that, yeah, Bob, you can do good things. You can do things you, you never thought you would be able to. Uh, I've learned Spanish. Uh, I've, I, I speak in front of people each week, hundreds of people each week, almost every week. That stuff, you know, with this voice, I'm thinking, who would have thought? Uh, help people, feed people at uh, Catholic charities. And I'm not trying to laud myself. I'm just saying this is where I've been pushed. I've been dealing with, I've dealt with, you know, substance abuse people. Uh, I've been at people's sides when they've died. Um, each time I think, there's no way I can do this. God provides. And I think that's the wisdom we need to open ourselves to. This, Our church, we have so much going for us, so much that we could be doing. And I think we limit ourselves, we as the people. We say, no, we can't, meaning that we don't want to. And I think we need to open ourselves to that spirit and really make a difference. So hopefully that went well. So be challenged by the gospel of the day. What's God asking you to do that maybe it's going to expand in your horizons as well? All right, guys, take care. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Okay. Bye.